to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. We all know God is good all the time. Let us say a prayer. Our Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our Savior, our Healer, our Lord, Father. By way of the grace and mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit, Father. The Holy Spirit has anointed us and left us with cloven tongues of fire and fulfilled the prophecy that our Lord of hosts, Jesus, said will be fulfilled. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to acknowledge you, God, because, God, you didn't have to do so, but you have given us dominion, not dominance, Father, but dominion, Father, shelter. You have given us everything that our hearts could desire, Father, but let us open our eyes up and see this, God. Let us treat each other fairly, Father. Let us live a pious life, Father. Let us live a righteous being, Father. Let us fulfill your word. Let us understand that we, as the human race, are the living word, Father. We, as the human race, are the church, Father. It is not a religion, Father. It is the spirit of God that dwells within us that we get to inhale and exhale daily, Father. And we thank you. We say this prayer right here on social media with no shame, Father. As a matter of fact, we say it in multiplication, Father. We share these words, Father, all across your lands, Father. Because you own it all. The devil is nothing but dead, Father. You spell that name backwards and we understand it says lived. And we serve a living God, Father, and that is you. And we praise you. And we will not stop praising you, Father. We will continuously praise you, God. It is a non-stop thing, God. It is not about just bolus. It is intermittent as well, Father. It is a continuum, God, and we shall fulfill these deeds here on this earth as they are done in heaven, God. Because Jesus prayed that prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done here on this earth as it is in heaven, and we are the generation, Father, to fulfill that deed, God. We don't need to see Jesus Christ in the flesh. We have enough faith and we have enough belief and some of us have enough knowledge and know God is here and know Jesus is here. And Father, I ask the ones that have the knowledge to take the believers up to the next level of knowledge, to take them up to the next level of faith, God. God, I would ask that you would take the believers and let the believers speak to the non-believers and get them to believe, Father. And get the believers to get the ones that are lost and leave them so that they may gain and acquire the knowledge, Father, that they need to know you. Because knowledge is wisdom applied, Father, and we must know you, God. And we are relentlessly relentless in the pursuit of your kingdom, and we will not stop, Father, until every person has the opportunity to know you and we will use social media father for it exists and it shall be here well after we are gone and if we want to leave a lineage of your word father we must utilize social media and let it not just be filled with sensational posts father and trash for you live and you are clean for everything that you have touched is clean everything that you say is clean father and we thank you for your cleanliness god but we live in it and we dwell in it, Father. Even though the mess and the muck is around us, Father, it shall not touch us. It shall approach, but it shall not touch. Amen, indeed. We are your nation, one race, God's race, undivided. We love you, God. We acknowledge you, God, here, now, in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our Lord of hosts, because we are the host, Father. By way of the grace and the mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit, we have those cloven tongues and we speak now with those cloven tongues of fire, God. Indeed, amen. God is with us and we shall always keep our fortitude. Remember, plan strategically for your life. Our life was strategically planned for you. Spread the word of God. Be fruitful and multiply. Worry less about what somebody else has to say. Only focus on your relationship with God because at the end of it all, at the end of it all, it will only be you and God. And you shall see, because every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, and you shall be a witness to that old serpent in his place, bound and chained.
because he is bound and chained already because Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Son of God, has done so already and we shall be a witness to that. Amen indeed. Go about your day as I go about mine. Be fruitful and multiply. Amen.